Welcome to Fun Islamic Facts, where I share fun facts about Muhammad and the Quran whenever jihadis go on a killing spree. In fun fact number nine, we saw Muhammad commanding his followers to dunk flies into their food and drinks, even though we know that flies carry diseases such as typhoid, cholera, dysentery, anthrax, salmonella, and tuberculosis. But the prophet who told his followers to dunk flies into their food and drinks also told them to lick each other's fingers. Sahih al-Bukhari, number 5456. Narrated Ibn Abbas, the prophet said, When you eat, do not wipe your hands till you have licked it, or had it licked by somebody else. Sorry, they're already gone. No, they're not. You left the best part. No, I'm pretty sure they're... Mmm, cheese. Sahih Muslim, 5294. It was narrated that Ibn Abbas said, The Messenger of Allah said, When one of you eats some food, let him not wipe his hand until he has licked it or had it licked. Mmm, cheese. Hello, Doritos. Why did Muhammad want his followers to lick their fingers and to lick each other's fingers? He tells us, Sahih Muslim 5300. It was narrated from Jabir that the Prophet enjoined licking one's fingers and wiping the plate. And he said, You do not know in which part the blessing is. So, Allah has hidden a blessing somewhere in your food. But since you don't know where it's hidden, you should lick your fingers, or have someone else lick them, so that the blessing isn't lost. Muhammad goes on to say that even if you drop your food on the floor, you should pick it up and eat it, so that Satan doesn't eat what you dropped and steal your hidden blessing. Sahih Muslim, number 5303. It was narrated that Jabir said, I heard the Prophet say, The Shaitan is present with any one of you in all his affairs, and he is even present with him when he eats. If one of you drops a morsel, let him remove any dirt on it, then eat it, and not leave it for the Shaitan. And when he is finished, let him lick his fingers, for he does not know in which part of his food the blessing is. Unfortunately for Muslims who actually believe what Muhammad says, the problem with food that falls on the floor isn't simply the dirt. It's the bacteria, which remain on the food even after the dirt is brushed away. Likewise, sucking other people's fingers will transfer any germs they're carrying to your own body. So, once again, the surest way to infect yourself with the disease and die is to follow Muhammad's teachings. Welcome to Islam. Finger licking dumb. <laughs>